I am so glad that you are being present where you are to stand in protest against what the Supreme Court has been allowing with the death penalty in this country. They're beginning to wake up to the fact that it's not constitutional because they've never been able to apply their own guidelines, as we see in Breyer's dissent in the Glossop case. But what you're doing by being there in your body, by being present in your body, that we have so much electronic stuff now where you just click on something. And you're there bodily to stand there and to stand there and perhaps some of you even will do civil disobedience and allow yourself to be arrested. I know my friend John Deere is there and plans to be one of those people. Sister Lillian Flavin, who is as Irish as you can imagine. We we're walking along together to protest along with the tenant, the, uh, the parish tenant association because the rent was terrible and they weren't answering the needs of the people. And she said in her Irish accent, Helen, sometimes things can only be said with your body. And so you're there to stand there and know that so many of us are with you there in spirit. Thank you for what you're doing. And I know you don't need my thanks to do what you do. The integrity of your action is the thank you. You don't need thanks from anyone else. So this is the fifth year of this demonstration, and we are beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are beginning to see the moves of all the killing instruments of the state and federal government to be moved into mu museums. And so your effort at this time gives us a momentum to keep going forward. In light of the last presidential election, I know it's hard. We now have a man who's occupying the presidency, who has all the signals he has given so far is that he's all for resuming executions at the federal and the state level. He's all for keeping Guantanamo uh, open and executing or, or trying people for terrorist crimes. It's harsh uh, from what he's also said. He's all for the police being able to stop and frisk people on the streets at will. It's harsh. And that's what activates us to act more than ever. We can't have the luxury even of being down about it or just wanting to give up. Look at the suffering going on. How We cannot begin to have the luxury of saying, oh, I'm discouraged, so I'm not going to act anymore on this. We now, more than ever, we have to act. My good friend Bill Quigley, who's one of the greatest, one most wonderful civil rights attorneys in New Orleans said, we were born for this day. And because we are the ones who are awake to the huge suffering and injustice of the death penalty, we need to be the ones standing present before the public and all the people to say this must stop. This is not truly who we are as an American people.